Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a little bit of an intro because you guys have seen this whole look before because I did film it but it got taken down from my channel and I know a lot of you were wanting this makeup tutorial or whole look for your own prom so I wanted to redo it for you guys so you could um, recreate it if you still wanted to do that because silly me did not save the video in a hard drive. So yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial once again. I'll see you guys in my next clip. So the first thing I'm going to be using is this Laura Mercier primer. This is the same one I used in my other video. It just kind of has a shimmer base to it, so it makes you look really glowy. And then I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Um, I'm in the shade Caramel and Natural Beige. I kind of just mix them together to get my color. And I don't use a lot of it, so a lot of the color disperses um, all over my face. So it's not as dark as it looks when I put it on my face, if that makes sense. And make sure, since this is prom and you're taking photos and you should do this every day anyways, but you blend down your neck, please do that. Anyways, next is the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Um, this is my favorite concealer I've tried so far. I'm sure I will find a new one that I like more, but right now this is what I've been using. And I'm using the shade Custard, and I'm putting that all under my eyes, middle of my forehead, nose, chin, just the regular places that I always do. And people usually ask me what sponge this is. This is the Real Techniques uh, Beauty Blender Sponge. I don't even want to call it a beauty blender because it's not a beauty blender. I will never bring myself to buy a beauty blender that costs $30 when this works exactly the same and is so much cheaper, so I would recommend this one. Now taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, I'm first going to be dabbing out any creases I would have had under my eyes created by the concealer and my premature 19 year old wrinkles. And then I'm going to be taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm going to set it because I don't want it to crease under my eyes. And I'm also going to be putting that anywhere else that I put the concealer. This is from Estee Lauder. Um, I will leave on the screen and down below what it actually is, but it's like a powder. I think it's like one of those like photo ready powders or something like that. Uh, but it's basically just a powder for your face. And I'm just going to be putting that everywhere that I didn't put um, the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. You could also use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it just kind of gives like a weird brightening aspect of it so I just don't really want my whole face to be brightened and this is the Benefit Cheek Parade and I'm going to be taking Hula which is the bronzer from there and I'm going to be buffing that into my cheeks so I'm just going to be contouring basically my whole face and this brush as well is a Benefit brush. And I mean, this is a hella ratchet way to contour your nose by just squishing the bristles of the bronzer brush, but I mean, hey, if you're super lazy and you can't just get a smaller brush to do this, honestly, just do it this way. And I'm going to go back in with that Laura Mercier powder, and I'm going to be cleaning up my contour. Obviously, we're not going to leave it like this, but just put this under your bronzer, and I'm also going to be taking that on either sides of my nose and also down the center of the nose. Uh, just so it cleans up my nose contour as well. And after that, we're going to be blending everything out. So next, I'm going to be going in with this blush color. And I love blush, so I'm going to be packing on the blush. And also with super kind of corally looks like this, like my eyeshadow is going to be all pinky, my lips are going to be pinky, I do tend to like to have a pinkier cheek. So this is the Casey Holmes in collaboration with Smashbox Spotlight Palette. This is in the palette Pearl. And I'm just gonna be using that to highlight and I love this palette. It's kind of less intense than the Becca one but still really, really intense. So it's definitely a good one. 
After that, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows off camera. I did just film a super recent eyebrow tutorial that you guys will be able to see down below. I'll leave a link. And I'm going to be using the Smashbox palette again like I did in my last tutorial. But when I did recreate this look when I went out, um, what I did, which I felt worked even better, this is a shade from Makeup Geek and I think it's Creme Brulee. And I'm just going to be putting that as a transition because last time I did try to use the palette as a transition and it did work, but this worked even better. So next with the Smashbox palette, I'm going to be taking that burnt orange shade and I'm just going to be putting that in my crease in the outer thirds of my eyes. Now I'm going to be taking this pinkier shade and I'm concentrating this really just on the outer thirds of the eyes. I don't want to take it too much in my crease but this is kind of just going to be brought out more towards my temples. And yeah, I'm making sure everything is really really nicely blended together because this is going to be a really blown out kind of smoky-ish look. So now using the Too Faced Glitter Glue, I'm putting this all over my lid. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I use this under really any eyeshadow because I find it makes it a lot more pigmented and it sticks better and it stays longer. So I'm taking this kind of pinky-ish, shimmery shade, bronzy. I don't know, guys, I am so bad at explaining colors and this is insane. Anyways, I'm putting that all over my lid and you guys could definitely keep it like this, but I usually like my lid to be even a little bit lighter. So I'll show you guys what I do after this. So first I'm gonna be taking this NARS eyeshadow and I'm gonna be putting this in the center. It does have a bit of a pinky tone. And then after that, I'm going to be taking that orange shade that we used in our crease and I'm going to be buffing that into the lower lash line. I am using a little more than I would usually in my tutorials because I really want it kind of smoky. After that, I'm going to be taking this Lancome Art Liquid Eyeliner. This is my favorite eyeliner to use on myself just because I feel like it doesn't dry out that fast. Um, I do have a problem with using kind of pen eyeliners on myself. Um, mostly just because they dry out so fast, but I actually do prefer those on clients just because I feel like they're easier to use. Also, before I applied the eyeliner, I actually did a coat of mascara off camera. I always do mascara before my eyeliner because I find when I curl my eyelashes after I completed my eyeliner, all it does is take the eyeliner off, so that's why I like doing that. After I'm doing the eyeliner, I show you guys one eye and I do the other eye off camera, but I also apply fake eyelashes and I'll definitely leave right here what the eyelashes are called. And I'm just going to apply the eyelashes off camera. And next, I don't even really think this is an eyeliner. I'll definitely leave down below what it actually is, but basically any nude kind of eyeliner I'm putting in my waterline because I really want kind of doe looking eyes and after that I'm going to be using this Spice lip liner from MAC. Um, this is obviously, I use it all the time, this is my favorite lip liner um, to go with nude lipstick. Next I'm using this NARS lipstick that I use basically all the time and a tip for you guys that are taking photos for weddings or proms, make sure your lipstick isn't too too light or else it will definitely wash you out. So these are some things I like to do after my makeup. Uh, with these lashes, these Huda Beauty lashes specifically, ones with really thick lash bands, I really like to make sure that they are attached to my eyeball. And sometimes they aren't as fluffy as they could be, so right now I'm lightly squishing them together, um, and then at the ends I'm curling them. I don't want to really curl them at the base just because I feel like it'll ruin, ruin my eyelashes and ruin the fake lashes. So I told you guys that I really like blush with these pinky kind of looks, so I'm just applying a little more blush just because I feel like it will tie the look all together. And one thing I almost forgot, which I did in my last tutorial, which honestly really makes the look, if you like a little glitter like I do, I believe this is from Urban Decay, I will put it on the screen if I'm wrong or if I'm right. 
um, and I'm just putting a bit on my lid and I'm kind of just tapping it in. I don't want too, too much, but I kind of want to disperse it all over my lid, mostly in the inner thirds and the center. And then I'm also going to put it on the inner third of my lower lash line. And since you're going to be wearing this look all day, presumably, um, I'm just going to be spraying my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And this is the final makeup look. So since this is a get ready with me, I'm going to show you guys in this clip, this is going to be basically a sped up version of me doing my hair, curling my hair. I did put on my channel specifically for this video, um basically a hair tutorial which looks way better than this guys just saying I'm gonna put the link down below but if you want a really pretty soft curl wave kind of look I'll leave the link down below and that's basically this hairstyle but better and it also goes into detail exactly what I'm doing and it's not just me with a wand waiting around so I tell you guys exactly what I do and how I make it last Also, my jewelry for this look are some hoop earrings, just some gold hoop earrings, and also just a simple chain. When I wore this to one of the proms I went to last year, I actually wore um, quite a deep V necklace that went in between my cleavage. So it went down there, and I think those are nice with very deep V uh, dresses because it kind of just frames everything, if that makes sense. So, yeah. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also this is the dress that I paired with this look. It is from Hot Miami Styles if you guys are interested. And I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.